out point here. This episode is carrying your weapon in your bag. Well, ladies and gentlemen, should you carry your firearm inside your bag, purse, book bag, fanny pack, whatever type of bag you have, should you carry your firearm there? Uh, my answer is no. Reason why is very difficult for you to draw your weapon. Now here I have a little military bag here. Um, it has different pockets. Um, it also has a big old pocket here. And even on the side. Whatever. It's very difficult to draw your, your firearm from your bag. Now if I was a purse snatcher or even a, a guy that just likes robbing people or whatever and I come up to you with a firearm and I point it at you okay I point it at you and I say give me your bag what's gonna happen okay you're gonna take it from your straps or you're gonna reach down your hand in your bag and I know you're getting something boom you're done okay now they are good things about your purse, your bag, your book bags, or um, fanny packs, whatever. If I was a purse snatcher or somebody that's going after your bag, 80% uh, 80 of my focus is going to be on that bag. The other 20% is going to be on you. So now you have 80% of survival, uh, basically surviving that situation. Um, so it's good to have a firearm on your hip, not in the bag. Now, the good thing about bags is that if Temp is gonna go ahead and demonstrate it for me, this is unloaded. Now, he's focusing on my bag. That's what he wants, that's what he's here for wants my bag so basically he's gonna say give me your bag give me your bag okay now I can use this as you can see I have a side I have a gun on my waist he's concentrating on my bag that's what he's here for he's for my is for my bag now if I have my firearm and I try to reach or unzip he's pulling the trigger but Good thing about carrying a bag. Sorry. His focus is there now. You see? Use your bag as a distraction. Draw your weapon. Then you got him. You see how I did that? And he focused more on the bag. 80% of the time, they want your bag. But not only your bag's a distraction, you can use it as a distraction to give you more time to draw your weapon. Okay, you see how he got dis distracted the first time. I didn't even tell him I was going to do that. He just went for it. That's what he's here for. Also, so I got my little man purse. Sexy, right? Purse. Sexy. <laughs> so, um, let's just say he grabs it. He comes from behind. All right. So I'm talking. I'm having a conversation. I'm walking. He comes from behind. I break free. I draw my weapon. You see? Most purse snatchers, they're going to come from behind. And they're going to snatch you first. And most girls have it like, what, on their shoulder like this? So yeah. it's, it's a lot easier for that guy to just snatch it from me. Like even now, what's gonna happen if my firearm was in this bag? I actually just gave him a. F so don't do that. Don't ever put your firearm in your bag. And I have a solution for the ladies out there because I have a lot of questions and all that stuff saying. It doesn't matter. I put it in my bag. I'd rather have it with me than not have it. 
Well, I'd rather you not have it in the purse than to have it in your purse just because you're going to arm that person that's snatching your bag. So don't do that. And my solution for the females that wear tight shirts or, you know, short shirts and, and whatnot, um, buy yourself a smaller pistol, a smaller uh, caliber. You can go with a smaller caliber, 380, even a 22. A 22 will stop somebody, believe it or not. Um, so I'd rather carry a 22 than nothing, you know. So uh, 380s, they come very small. Actually, they, they, uh, the shield come in nines. You can get nines small. The smallest nine you can get, I believe, is uh, the Diamondback nine. That's a, a good gun, too. No safety is almost like a, a very small pocket size Glock. Uh, also, Glock makes uh, 380s now, the 42. Um, also, the new 43 that just came out is the 9. So, ladies, concentrate on a smaller gun if you want, if you know you're going to wear tight shirts and uh, uh, you live in down south where it's always hot and you, know, you ain't going to wear big old bubble jackets and stuff like that so um, so eliminate putting your weapon or any type of weapon including your firearm knives or whatever in your purse or bag or man purse or even a fanny pack don't do that it's a bad idea you're just gonna arm that person and you're gonna be screwed basically you're gonna have you don't want to have to fight for your to draw your weapon if you do carry a gun in your in your bag or a knife or anything or even a taser, eliminate it immediately. I advise you guys don't do it. It's a very bad idea. Um, you're just giving away your your weapon, your home, your only defense for your life. Like I said, 80% of their focus is on that bag, and the other 20% is on you. So you have 80% of surviving if you have. A firearm here hey guys I want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment below what you think about the uh, bag and if you carry a weapon in your bag uh, explain to me in the comments below why do you carry a firearm or any type of weapon in your bag um, don't forget to get these shirts It's actually uh, 7.62 designs.com I'll go ahead and put that link down below in the description and uh, that's all I have for this episode uh, I'll see you guys at the range look 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 at this somebody come look at this look at this somebody come and look at this look at this <laughs>